hello hello and welcome to my channel my name is Kat I am the nurse flipper I am a full-time reseller on eBay I have made hundreds of videos here on YouTube helping people to become either part-time or full-time resellers I see a lot of comments and I was reading a book last night I was reading Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill and he has a list of why people are not successful in marketing and a lot of these applied to why people fail as resellers so I'm going to go over my top 10 reasons that I think people fail as resellers All right, so I'm going to go over my top 10 reasons I feel like people <laughs> fail as a reseller. And I will first give you exactly what Napoleon Hill says and th think and grow rich. And then I'm going to give you my commentary on those reasons. And these are in no particular order. And I picked 10 of them out of his 31. So if you're interested in more, I do have a link to the book down below where you can purchase it. And let's go ahead and get started. The number one reason I feel like people fail as resellers, and again, they're not in an order. This is just number one, is lack of self-discipline. So Napoleon Hill says, discipline comes through self-control. This means one must control all negative qualities. Before you can control conditions, you must first control yourself. Self-mastery is the hardest job you will ever tackle. If you do not conquer self, you will be conquered by self. You may see at one and the same time both your best friend and greatest enemy by stepping in the front of a mirror. So, when it comes... I... When it comes to reselling, nobody's telling you what to do. If you are doing it part-time, if you are doing it full-time, there is nobody telling you you have to list this many items, you have to ship your items out on time. They, there is no one, it is you. So, so if you do not have the self-discipline to make yourself list even when you don't wanna list, or take photographs, even though that's not exactly what you want to do, you're not gonna succeed. A lot of times people wonder why they don't get sales. And to me, the main reason is they're not listing enough. You also might not be finding the right stuff. But even if you find that right stuff, if you don't have the discipline to make yourself list it, then you definitely are not going to succeed at being a reseller. Number two goes hand in hand with number one, and that is procrastination. So Napoleon Hill says, this is one of the most common causes of failure. Old man procrastination. Stands within the shadow of every human being watching his opportunity to spoil one's chances of success. Most of us go through life as failures because we are waiting for the time to be right, to start doing something worthwhile. Do not wait. The time will never be just right. Start where you stand and work with whatever tools you may have at your command and better tools will be found as you go along. So procrastination definitely up there in the top 10. I myself am pretty guilty about procrastinating doing things. One of them was procrastinating going full time. I have wanted to go full time for several years, but I procrastinated until until I felt the time was right. So it was partial procrastination, but it was also fear. And being scared to do it definitely can affect your ability to do it and do it well. If you are sitting on the couch 
binge watching Netflix or whatever your choice of television is if you do it or you're binge watching YouTube like me right now you could be doing that while you're listing so one of my favorite things to do is I will make myself come in here into the shed I will photograph 15 to 20 items and then I'll go sit on the couch watch TV while I'm listing those items so sometimes you have to kick yourself in the butt make yourself just do it and and get it done it if you are procrastinating your items aren't up they aren't available for sale when it comes to shipping if you're procrastinating you could affect your metrics because all platforms have a certain amount of time that you need to ship in so if you're procrastinating because you don't have the right type of boxes you can get them that item sells you can go find a box i guarantee it or you can build one other otherwise known as frankenboxing so don't let procrastination because you don't have enough money to get better lighting or have the right boxes or can't afford to cross post things like that are doing nothing but hindering your success and your ability to make progress in reselling you have to do things and sometimes you have to do it without what you really need because you don't have it but as napoleon hill said better tools will come as you go along as you grow your business you'll be able to have a bigger supply of boxes you'll be able to get that better camera you will have all the supplies you need but when you first start that might not be the case but don't don't let that stop you number three is lack of of persistence so napoleon hill says most of us are good starters but poor finishers of everything we begin moreover people are prone to give up at the first signs of defeat there is no substitute for persistence the person who makes persistence his watchword discovers that old man failure finally becomes tired and makes his departure failure cannot cope with persistence so a lot of comments i get or i'm not getting sales i'm only getting two sales a week i'm only getting two sales a day my response is typically how much are you listing a day oh well i might list five or ten well i'll tell you i listed 20 to 30 for three years to get to the point that I am at so being persistent regardless of what's going on if your sales are low if they are high you have to be persistent you have to keep pushing through eBay and reselling is an absolute roller coaster there is no question about it it is ups and downs and those who succeed push through those times when it is slow they know that it will go back up and and I guarantee you that it will and they don't get down on themselves they don't get negative being negative cannot provide you with any positive outcome in your business so you have to persist you have to keep going even when sales are slow the economy is not the best right now but i'm still making twelve thousand dollars a month in sales if i can do it then i know that you can do it so be persistent keep listing don't let those spammers if you are very new it is really discouraging it's really easy to get discouraged because you think you get a great sale and then it turns out it's some fake person trying to scam you don't let those people stop your persistence they they will go away once your feedback grows and your business grows the spammers will become non-existent you just have to be strong enough and persistent enough to push past the initial hurdles that are going to come in any business until you are successful number four is negative personalities napoleon hill says there is no hope of success for the person who repels people through a negative personality success comes through the application of power and power is attained through cooperative efforts of other people a negative personality will not induce cooperation so there are i have my book i have my book here there are several things i think being negative will do one it is going to discourage you it will put you in a bad mood i am definitely one of those glass half full people i 
always look for the positive no matter what is going on and if you are negative you have a negative personality you need to figure out kind of how to harness that in and not let it affect you and your business if you wake up and you're like i'm not going to get sales today or i've been listing and listing and nothing is selling nothing nothing good comes out of that and negative personalities tend to attract other negative personalities i don't want to be around someone that is always negative oh well you sold it but you didn't include the fees or that's not really how much profit you're making no you know i i make about 50 percent profit on my sales i am perfectly happy with that another negative thing i can think of that i hear all the time is that the platforms are charging too many fees well guess what those platforms have been around for years they have built their customer base they are offering you up millions of customers on a platter they deserve to be paid oh they're increasing increasing their fees so what so what you need to change your business model you need to find items for cheaper in order to still be able to make a profit with the new fees if you dwell on the negative and the increase in fees you're taking time away that you could be listing items or shipping items or sharing items cross posting all kinds of things so being negative will get you absolutely nowhere five is uncontrolled desire for something for nothing napoleon hill says the gambling instinct drives millions of people to failure evidence of this may be found in the study of the wall street crash of 29 during which millions of people tried to make money by gambling on stock margins reselling is hard work you don't get something for nothing it's not easy if a deal seems too good to be true a lot of times it is you need to make sure that you do your homework and know exactly what you are getting into but it definitely is not something for nothing a lot of people who have not done reselling are very surprised when they start doing it exactly how much work is involved with reselling and it is a lot it is a lot of work but for me it doesn't feel like work because i love what i'm doing so i'm okay if i'm working 40 50 60 hours a week because it really doesn't feel like work but i'm definitely not getting something for nothing one of my pet peeves is people coming in watching my videos they haven't watched my channel for a long time and they tell me i'm only getting sales because of my youtube presence well i will tell you i had a hundred thousand dollars in sales before i had a youtube channel i only get about five percent of my sales from viewers i am a hard worker i probably <laughs> work too much and those who think this is easy should try it for themselves and then and then you can get back to me i have seen comments of people telling me no this is way too much work for me it's not worth it i'll stick with my guaranteed salary job to that i say reselling probably isn't for you because it is hard work but if you love it it still doesn't feel like work so it's not something for nothing if you think you can get something for nothing then you're probably going to be sorely disappointed number six is over caution so napoleon hill says the person who takes no chances generally has to take whatever is left when others are through choosing over caution is as bad as under caution both are extremes to be guarded against life itself is filled with the element of chance so if you are too scared to make that big buy that could bring you the big profit then you're gonna miss out most of my bigger profits have come from buying hundreds and hundreds of items at the same time and i do calculations i know the minimum that i could get for them i figure in if there is going to be some damage and i know what my max i'm willing to pay is but if you're scared to invest in this as a business then it's going to be really really hard 
to make money. That doesn't mean you go blindly buying tons of mystery boxes, even though they are fun. They are fun. I will admit that I have and I, I might in the future buy some, but be very cautionary when you're buying a box and you don't know what's inside of it, especially if it costs a lot of money. So don't use too much caution to where a price tag will scare you away because you might be missing some of the best profits that are out there. Same goes for paying up for high dollar items. I am not scared to buy high dollar items. Yes, I'm putting out hundreds of dollars, but I also have done research and seen a sales history and I know that they will sell. Now it might take them um, a year or two to sell, but I know historically that they have sold. So don't be scared, but don't go willy nilly throwing your money around without doing research because that will get you in trouble as well. Number six is the habit of indiscriminate spending. Napoleon Hill says the spendthrift cannot succeed mainly because he stands in eternal fear of poverty. Form the habit of systematic savings by putting aside a definite percentage of your income. Money in the bank gives one a very safe foundation of courage when bargaining for a sale of personal services. Without money, one must take what one is offered and be glad to get it. So the key for me in building my business was putting all of those profits back in for two years while I was still working full time as a nurse and having that bankroll to make those big buys. If you don't have the money put up and you're just thinking, oh, I need to go get inventory and you're buying any little thing you find then the next week here comes along a great deal and you have no money to buy it then you just missed out so be very very cautionary with your spending don't just buy things to buy them save money save money until that right deal comes along you might be looking at auctions for weeks before you find that right buy for you and for your business i spent six weeks looking for a truck on auction and ended up with two so I didn't really tell this story but I waited and waited we were wanting a truck for Brad's new woodworking business they are actually spray foaming his shed right now as I'm recording this and we had two picked out and the one we wanted the most came after the first one so I won the first one thinking the second one might go too high and now I have two trucks now I have two they are both very pretty trucks and I will definitely though because I did my research I will be able to sell the other truck pretty easily and actually make a little bit of profit but I had that money there I knew that I could get them and it was a wise decision. Hi. Dalton says hello. Number eight is a lack of enthusiasm. Napoleon Hill says, without enthusiasm, one cannot be convincing. Moreover, enthusiasm is contagious and the person who has it under control is generally welcome in any group of people. So for me, I, share every day i am excited with reselling i love reselling i think all of you know that if you've been watching my channel and i feel like my enthusiasm spreads to you well that gives me some opportunities i've had a couple of personal buys because of my channel i also have gotten calls from estate auction companies and people know if you're enthusiastic you love what you do they're going to be more likely to help you. That includes if you're going to a garage sale. I know people that have thrift stores. People will set stuff aside or point stuff out to them because they like them and they know they're resellers, but they know they're enthusiastic and they absolutely love what they do. It's also gonna attract other enthusiastic people to you and that will help you to be more positive. Definitely give you support when it is needed and reselling. Number nine is guessing instead of thinking. 
Napoleon Hill says most people are too indifferent or lazy to acquire facts with which to think accurately. They prefer to act on opinions created by guesswork or snap judgments. So that comes back to again doing your research with reselling. If you don't, you could be spending money on items that either don't sell or aren't going to sell for as much as you think. That will definitely impact your business. It'll make you feel negative. We, we all are going to make mistakes, okay? We all are gonna make mistakes. There are thrift stores, there are garage sales where we have no signal. So we do have to go on our instinct and what we know. But I would caution you if it's a high dollar amount, don't spend it until you research. If you need to take a picture of it there at the thrift store, go outside until you get signal. Don't spend a big amount of money without knowing that you're going to get your return on it. Because a lot of guessing will leave you with no money and a bunch of products that won't sell. So do your research. Worth Point is amazing for a 10 year history. That is what I've used for several years. You also can look on eBay for comps. You can also search Google. There are a lot of different ways to research, but just guessing and thinking that something will sell high is not going to get you any anywhere fast, and it could get you going in the wrong direction. All right, last but definitely not least is lack of capital. Napoleon Hill says, this is a common cause of failure among those who start out in business for the first time without sufficient reserve of capital to absorb the shock of their mistakes and to carry them over until they have established a reputation. So lack of capital is definitely something that is going to slow you down in this business. If you don't have buying power or the money to make those bulk buys or higher dollar items, then it definitely can affect your business. So for me, I stayed at my job nursing, which I wasn't happy at for well over a year and a half of actually doing this business full time as well. I waited until I had built up my store and built up my capital enough that I felt comfortable leaving and supporting my family solely on my reselling business. But if you don't have that capital, you could be missing out on a lot of opportunities. In order to build that capital, there are several ways. I bought tons of dollar lot boxes. The boxes that nobody else was bidding on at the auction, I was grabbing them. I was grabbing them. And yeah, it might have only had five $10 items in it, but that's $50 from my dollar. So you might have to start out with five, 10, $15 sales until you build the capital to be able to buy those items that sell for more. Don't expect, unless you've got a giant bank account, to be able to jump in buy a thousand license plates like I did or 600 Harley pins. You have to build up to get to that point. It's not something that happens instantly unless, like I said, you might have a reserve from your career. You might have savings that you're willing to invest into this as a new business, but you definitely need capital to produce results. Can you build capital from nothing? Absolutely. There are free sites like Craigslist, Facebook, people give away stuff for free all the time. So can you build this up from nothing? Yes. I started with just a few hundred dollars. I was doing pallets first, then I moved to auction lots. If I were in a more suburban setting, I would be grabbing free stuff all the time. I still would be grabbing free stuff. Unfortunately, I'm in a rural area and everybody's so far apart that finding free stuff doesn't doesn't happen very regularly but you can build that capital up i don't want to discourage you if you don't have anything to start start with stuff in your house that stuff that is free to you that you can use to make money for capital to grow your business so that that is the end of my 10 reasons i was reading this book last night and i just thought to myself a lot of these reasons are reasons why resellers fail and I really encourage you to look at yourself, see if any of these traits, any of these traits pertain to you. It's very, very hard to be self-objective 
and look at yourself from the outside in but if you have any of these traits i would work on them work on them we can all improve we can always get better i personally am always increasing my knowledge that is why i love doing my research videos with you and showing you what i sold to increase your knowledge increasing your knowledge in the this business is key to being successful i appreciate you watching i hope you are having a great week i We'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.